In 2006, CERN installed a new accelerator called the Large Hadron Collider inside the same tunnel as LEP. The machine started its operation, giving the world's physicists a new tool to probe deeper than ever into the heart of the matter. These physicists build particle detectors at their home institutes and bring them to CERN to record the results of particle collisions. It has been confirmed that something weird is happening at CERN that no one can explain. Could this be something that would lead to the destruction of planets? You're about to find out, so stay tuned. We understand you may never have heard about CERN, so let's quickly tell you how it started. It began as the European Organization for Nuclear Research in the 1950s. It is now one of the most prestigious research institutions in the world. Dubbed the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, its mission is to discover what makes our universe work, where it came from, and where it is going. CERN employs some of the world's largest and most complex machines to investigate nature's smallest building blocks, the fundamental particles. These are accelerators that accelerate tiny particles to a fraction of the speed of light, and detectors that act as electronic eyes allowing the particles to be seen. The Large Hadron Collider detectors turned on all subsystems. They began recording high-energy collisions at unprecedented energy, kicking off a new physics season. One of the four major teams at the Large Hadron Collider, the LHCB collaboration, which has analyzed a decade's worth of data on the decay of unstable particles called B mesons, which are briefly generated in the enormous machine into more familiar stuff such as electrons. This accomplishment was made possible by the operators who've been working around the clock since the LHCs restarted in April 2022 to ensure the smooth start of these collisions with higher intensity beams and increased energy. After more than three years of upgrading and maintenance work, the LHC is expected to operate for over four years at an incredible record energy of 13.6 trillion electron volts, giving increased accuracy and discovery potential. Increased collision rates, increased collision energy, improved data readout, selection systems, new detector systems and computational infrastructure all lead to a strong physics season that will broaden the LHC's already diversified physics program. According to the standard model of particle physics, which provides the mathematical foundation for scientists' understanding of the subatomic world, particles should decay into products that include electrons at the same rate as they wear into products that fit in the muon, a heavier cousin of the electron. Instead of decaying into electrons and muons at equal rates, as predicted by the model, the B mesons are deviating toward the electron-producing decay pathway. A look at this recent finding published by CERN indicates that something unusual is occurring. The discovery has a significance of 3.1 sigmas, which in physics lingo means that the probability of it being a fluke is around 1 in 1,000. Particle physicists often wait until a finding achieves a significance of 5 sigmas, where the likelihood of it being a statistical quirk is reduced to 1 in a few million, before declaring a new discovery, even if the evidence seems compelling. It is an exciting clue, but the thing is, the team has seen sigmas come and go before, so they are trying to be careful. The particles and forces that shape the subatomic realm are laid out in the standard model of particle physics. This model, developed over the last 50 years, describes how the fundamental particles called quarks interact to form protons and neutrons within atomic nuclei, and how these, together with electrons, compose all known matter. The strong force which keeps atomic nuclei together and the weak force, which drives nuclear reactions in the sun, may all be understood by this model. However, only some things can be explained by the traditional model. It fails to account for gravity, the fourth force, and more surprisingly, 
it provides no explanation for the vast majority of the cosmos that physicists think cannot be made of ordinary stuff. CERN scientists are attempting to determine the tiniest building components of matter. Except for dark matter, all matter consists of molecules which are made up of atoms. Electrons circle around the nucleus within the particles. The nucleus is composed mainly of protons and neutrons, yet even these are composite substances. The quarks are found within protons and neutrons, although they seem indivisible, much like electrons. Some of the constituent particles studied at CERN and other facilities include quarks and electrons. However, physicists have discovered more of these elementary particles in various experiments, so many that researchers needed to organize them in the same way that Mendeleev did with his periodic table. According to theory, this particle in the latest discovery had no electrical charge, was short-lived and degraded in the same manner as the Higgs boson should. To determine if it was the Higgs boson, researchers examined its spin, stating that the Higgs boson is the only particle with a spin of zero. They decided in 2013 that a Higgs boson had been identified after studying two and a half times more data. A particle's energy is measured in electron volts. One electron volt is the amount of energy acquired by an electron traveling through a one volt electrical field. The protons gain 6.5 million million electron volts of energy as they race around the LHC, known as 6.5 tera electron volts or TeV. It is the maximum energy attained by an accelerator, a minimal amount of energy. However, an accelerator concentrates that energy at a microscopic scale to produce very high energy concentrations similar to those seen soon after the Big Bang. The amount of possible collisions per surface unit during a particular period is shown by luminosity, which is a fundamental metric of an accelerator's performance. The instantaneous brightness is recorded in CM2S1, where the integrated luminosity, which represents the number of collisions that might occur in a given time, is measured in inverse femtobarn. 100 million millions of possible collisions are represented by one inverse femtobarn. CERN engineers have ramped the beams of protons up to record intensities, producing collision energy of 13.6 trillion electron volts, up from 13 TeV in the last run, along with new magnets that must be maintained at a frigid minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, only colder than outer space. One trillion electron volts is about the energy of a flying mosquito. Still, for a subatomic particle, it's a lot of energy. CERN claims that the beams racing around the ring will someday carry the same amount of energy as a train traveling 150 kilometers per hour. The particle beams will also be denser, boosting the likelihood of a collision and the possibility of creating Higgs bosons, discovering new particles and maybe discovering new physics. The axion, a particle assumed to not emit, absorb or reflect light, is one of the prized possessions. It's one of the top candidates for the composition of dark matter, the mysterious substance that scientists believe accounts for 85% of all matter in the universe. The discovery of the Higgs boson was just the beginning. Ten years later, physicists have studied how strongly it interacts with other particles to determine whether theoretical predictions are correct. The strength of interaction may be evaluated empirically by observing Higgs boson creation and decay. The heavier a particle, the more likely the Higgs boson will decay into or be formed from it. In 2016, interaction with tau leptons was identified, while in 2018 interaction with top and bottom quarks was observed. Could interactions with the Higgs boson lead to the discovery of dark matter and other undiscovered particles. The team finds this discovery intriguing, 
since it follows the same trend as earlier results from the LHCb and other global experiments. If the discovery holds up, it might be explained by yet to observed particles known as Z-primes or leptoquarks, which exert novel pressures on other particles. The possible existence of a new quantum force that causes B mesons to decay into muons at an inappropriate pace. Will this ever happen? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.